Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will talk about the top 12 best free plugins for your WordPress website. I will talk about it in random order because what for me can be best plugin can not be the case for you or you can have a different best plugin. So I will not talk about from the worst to the best just in random order and for every plugin I will talk about I have a tutorial or I will make one really quick. So let's start with the first one, one signal. When people go to my website for the first time, they get this message over here and when they allow it, every time when I post or update a new blog post, I can decide that all the people that are subscribed to my push notifications get a push notification. So if I would click on update, look at this. Over here, further corpse look, convert, get review. And then they go to my post and it will generate a lot of traffic. The second one is rank man. With rank man, you can optimize your website for the search results so you can be found better get more visitors, get more clients, make more money, help more people, make the world a better place. There are also uh, Yoast SEO and SEO Press, but I found that Yoast SEO, <laughs> sorry, RankMath has the most features in the free version. So let me show you a little bit about RankMath. With RankMath, I can decide what focus keywords I want to have, and I can have multiple. So my first one is ConvertKit Review, ConvertKit, ConvertKit Pricing, and ConvertKit Landing Page. And based on this information, RankMath will tell me how I am doing in my blog post. So they can say, hey, you need to use the focus keyword in your SEO title. Or I should use the focus keyword inside the SEO meta description. So this blog post is already optimized. And it will tell me step by step what I need to do in order to be found or be ranked better. Also over here, edit the snippets. I can decide how I want this to be displayed in the Google search results. And when I go to the Google search results, I see it is aligning in this ConvertKit review, in this ConvertKit review. And that's what I can decide over here how to write it. So if I change it over here, it will also be changed in the Google search results. And there's so much more about RankMath that will help you to rank better. And I have a complete tutorial about that. Third one, Contact Form 7. I use this tool already for maybe 10 years, as long as I use WordPress, and I still love it. It's easy to use and you can style it these days with uh, additional add-ons, also free. So you can have a beautiful form. When people fill in that form, you will get a message in your inbox. So we can create a form like this using contact form seven. I can show you step-by-step -step in my tutorial how to do that. And then we can style it using a free add-on so it will match the style of our website. The fourth. Elementor. Elementor is a free page builder and it can help you to create a beautiful website. You can also use it in combination with a free theme, uh, Bloxy or Cadence or Astra. And when you have one of those themes with a free page builder called Elementor, you can create amazing websites. I have a lot of tutorials about it on my channel, but I love it. And what I also love about Elementor, there are also additional free add-ons because Elementor has a pro version, but there are also third-party add-ons. So other developers make extra things. For Elementor and in that way, Elementor is a great free plugin that you can use to create beautiful websites. Let me show you a little bit more about Elementor. So my homepage over here is made with Elementor. I created a section. In that section, I have two columns, one here and one here. And in that column, I have an image. And over here, I have a heading or a title. Over here, I have a button. And then here, I click on those dots. I see all the elements I can use. So if I want to have a pricing table, I can drag it over here and I can duplicate it. I can remove it. I can adjust the style so I can change the colors. I can change the text. And I see immediately what I'm adjusting. And then if I want to make it look better on a smartphone or on a tablet, I click over here and I can decide how I want to display this on a tablet and on a smartphone all using a free page builder. The fifth one, all in one WP migration is my to go to tool when I want to make a backup of my website or when I want to transfer my complete website to a different domain. I have used this tool more than a thousand times. I love it. It never failed me. The only thing I don't like is that with every update, they seem to change the amount, the limit the amount of megabytes you can uh, have to export a website. So if they limit it to 300 megabytes and your website is 400 megabytes and you want to export it or back up, back it up or 
import it somewhere else. Then you need to have the pro version exporting. It can be unlimited, uh, unlimited. But when you want to import it, they say you need to have the pro version. First, it was uh, a gigabyte, then it was 500 megabytes. And now it's switching all the time. But uh, let me show you really quick how it is done. I love the tool and uh, I still use the free version. So over here, I search for all in one WP migration. I click on install now, activate. Over here, export this website, export to a file. Now I can download this file. And then at my new website, I search for all in one. Install now and activate. And now I can go to import, drag it over here. And now I have the exact same website at new.divi5.com as divi4.com. Six, redirection. I love this easy to use tool. What you can do with it when you have an error, uh, a link that's not working or a website, so a URL that is outdated and people go there and they go to a 404 page because that URL doesn't exist. With redirection, you can redirect that wrong, not working URL to the right URL. Let me show you in real life. If people go to a link that does not exist, let's say how to make a website 2020 and it does not work, what I can do, I can copy this, I can paste over here, sorry, and then forward slash, and then it should redirect to forward slash 2021 because I changed the URL. So that way you can also redirect broken URLs. The other thing I like when I have an external URL, for instance, an uh, affiliate link, I can send people to HTTPS elementalcom forward slash uh, question mark ref I equals 1409. Or I can send people to ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. And when I do that, when I create that redirection using redirection, I can also see how many people are clicking on that link. That's what I really like about redirection. If I want to create an affiliate link for the upcoming Black Friday, I can say Black Friday 2022. I generate a URL. So this is my referral URL. I can place it on my website or I can go to Tools, Redirection. I create a new link, which is forward slash Black Friday Elementor. I place the target URL over here. And now when people go to ferdicorp.com forward slash BF Elementor, they go to the page I want to go and the campaign is Black Friday 2022. And what I can do in the video like this, I can say, let's go to ferdicorp.com forward slash BF Elementor. I don't have to tell them to go to this link because it's a little bit long. And when people do this, I can also see how many people go there. So that's what I really like. Seven, WooCommerce. With WooCommerce, you can sell products on your website. You can turn your WordPress website into a WordPress e-commerce store. That sounds so cool. And then you can sell products. My wife has a web shop with uh, the free version of WooCommerce. There's only one version, which is the free version. And she's making a lot of money selling her book. And that's what I love with WooCommerce. You can sell products on the internet. And I will show you a little bit more about WooCommerce. So over here at the website of my wife, which I created, I did not create my wife. I created the website for my wife. I have a product, which is a book with the title. You don't talk about that. I can take a look over here and people can put this in their shopping cart. Please don't take a look at the style. I'll explain later why the style is like this. It's so ugly. I can put it in the shopping cart. I can decide to pick it up or to let it be sent. And when I let it be sent, it will cost me extra money. I can pay and then I can choose a payment method. All done using WooCommerce. You can also have a complete website with a lot of stuff like this website. And you can display it all like this. And when you click on it, you can add it to the cart. But that's not all. You can also go to the all product page. You can filter things. There's so much possible. I have tutorials about this. So if you want to watch that, go to YouTube and search for WooCommerce 30 or I think I'm still the number one. I'm not sure. WooCommerce tutorial. Yes. Number one and number three. So that's what you can do with WooCommerce. 
8. Card flows. Card flows helps you to increase the conversion uh, on your WooCommerce products. And it can be any product. It can be a course. It can be a digital product. It can be a physical product. Whatever you sell with card flows, you can sell it even better. Let me show you a little bit more about card flows. Card flows is an amazing plugin that will enable you to boost your conversions on everything you sell. So over here, this is my wife. This is my sister-in-law. There's a call to action over here. Buy our book. And this is made with card flows. So with, so with card flows, you can create a beautiful page with the checkout all in one page and it's optimized for a conversion. You can also do split testing so you can see what is converting better. So I can change the quantity, maybe I want to buy more books. Everything is calculated at once. It's beautifully displayed. It's easy to adjust all the information over here. And in that way, when you use card flows in combination with WooCommerce, you can sell products in a beautiful way that's converting better. Hey, I have a tutorial about card flows. How great is that? With card flows, you can also sell courses. So search for card flows tutorial. Here it is, two and a half hours. And in that way you can sell courses, you can sell products, digital products, physical products. It's a beautiful tool. Let's talk about the ninth one, Lifter LMS. With Lifter LMS, you can create your own course or multiple courses on your website and you can sell them. And the great thing is uh, it's free. But if you want to sell things and integrate PayPal or credit card, you need to upgrade. But you can use two free tools and work, uh, build a workaround for it. And those tools are WooCommerce and Cardflows. So with Lift the LMS, WooCommerce and Cardflows, you can sell your courses for free. I do not mean that you sell your course for free. You can sell your course for money using free plugins. And those are the three. Uh, if you combine those three, that's amazing. I have tutorials about them all separately, but I will make a tutorial about them combined. So you can have your own course website and sell courses using free plugins. Does it sound amazing? Well, I think so. Great moment to ask for you to like this video and to subscribe for more upcoming WordPress related tutorials. And when you subscribe, I will stutter less. No, I don't know. But um, if you want to subscribe, you can do that. And if you want to like this video, um, yeah. Let's continue. So this is made with Lifter LMS, my affiliate marketing course, but I'm not only selling my affiliate marketing course, I'm selling more. My Shopify for beginners course, my Photoshop course, and my affiliate marketing course. So if I click over here, you see how it looks, you can enroll. Here are the, the sample lessons. And this is what you can create with the free version of Lifter LMS. What you also can do, you can combine multiple courses, for instance, those two, combine them and place them over here as a combination course. So when you buy this, you get this and this. I call this the ultimate marketing kit. You buy it for $4.99 and you get all the courses on this website. Look at this. This looks beautiful and you can pay with credit card. But as I said before, in the free version, that is not possible. But as I said before, there is a workaround for that. The tenth is custom post types. We all have custom post types in our website and they are called blog posts. We have blog posts, we can create them. They can have categories, they can have tags. But then if I want to place tutorials beside blog posts, I need to place those tutorials on the blog post, create a category for it. I want to have a separate area and that's when custom post types come in. I already have blog posts, but I can create a new custom post type called tutorials. And with those tutorials, I can also have categories and tags. So I can create a new blog post or I can create a new tutorial. Let me show you a little bit more about it. So when I want to create a new post, I can hover over new, click on post. I can give it a title. I can add categories, tags. I can send a notification from uh, one signal and that's great. But if I want to create a new tutorial and I go to the backend, I see posts, but I see no tutorial. How can I create that? Well, go to plugins, add new, search for custom post types. You can click on install now and activate it. Great. Now I can scroll down over here. I can add a new post type. I can call this one video tutorials, plural video tutorials and singular video tutorial. If I click on add post type, look at this video tutorials. I can add a new one. I can give it a title. I can add categories. I can add text all in a free version of custom post types UI. And then with Gutenberg, if you want to, you can add custom fields and create something beautiful.
Then 11.1 Monster Insights. With Monster Insights, it sounds frightening, but it's not. You can check the statistics on your website. You can link it with Google Analytics and in that way, see all the statistics on your dashboard within your WordPress website or dive a little bit deeper when you go to the Monster Insight dashboard. Over here, I have Monster Insights on my website and I see the amount of sessions in the latest 30 days, the page views, the efference session duration and the bounce rates. And some things are for the premium version like, like over here. I can make it bigger and see all this information, but I can also scroll down, go to Insights, Reports, and I can see more information. And I don't have to go to Google AdSense to see all that. So returning visitors or new visitors, device breakdown, a lot of people come here through the desktop, not that much people through the tablet and people come through YouTube, all that stuff from which countries they come. So all that within Monster Insights, which is free because this video is about free plugins. And the latest one, normally I like to go to tinypng.com when I want to uh, compress my high quality images and I want to keep the quality, but I want to compress them. So my website loads faster, but what you also can do, you can use reshmash.it. Rishmash, I don't know if I pronounce it the right way, but that will uh, optimize all the images you will upload to your website. So let me show you how that works. So I have an image over here, we're at Thinner 30, and um, I used um, Filter, Liquify, and then I do the face width. See, I make myself smaller. That's how you do that. If I would save this at 100%, the file will be one and a half megabytes. I export it at 920 in width. So I save it to my desktop. I uh, would rename this to 30 and Anna Korpershoek. What I would normally do, I would go to tiny PNG. and make it smaller and download it. And it's so much smaller right now. And that's what I would upload to my website. But if I go to my website, I go to the back end. I can also go to plugins at new. And then I search for re smash it. There it is. I click on install now, activate. So now I go to media, re smash it. The settings, I put it on 70 and I save the changes and I can all my current optimized images, but I already optimize them using tiny PNG. But right now I can go to my library, add new, select the file. And again, my big file, one and a half megabytes, 1.5. Now if I upload it, look at this, 176 kilobytes. And if I would upload uh, this one, through tiny PNG 144. So it's a little bit smaller and it's probably also because the resmash re made it smaller again. So you can see the difference or not. Oh, that's a great thing. If you don't see the difference, that means that the quality is okay of both images. I will do my best to start to look more like this version of myself. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So those are my top 12 free plugins. I love them. I use them and I'm really happy with them and I hope it will benefit you. I hope this video was a benefit for you. And if you liked it, please like it. Feel free to subscribe. And if you have any question or you think I'm missing a plugin so I can make a 13 top 13 plugin tutorial, let me know. And then I get a new comment and then I can make a 14 top 14. And then in a year, maybe I have a top 100 plugin tutorial free WordPress shakalaka tutorial and it will get a lot of views and a lot of subscribers and i will reach a million subscribers and um yeah i can reach more people in that way and then more people can use more free wordpress tutorials and um i think i'm wasting starting to waste your time right now until this moment it was a really good tutorial let's finish it one moment good luck we're playing around with the tools uh, again I have tutorials about all those tools and if I have not, maybe I'm missing two, then I will create tutorials about those.
uh, feel free to check out the plugins through the links in the tutorial. And if you get a pro version through that link, I get a commission. So thank you for that. Uh, but again, I focus on the free stuff in this tutorial, in this video. Yes, that's it. Bye-bye.